Hey everybody, it's Slender again, and uh, I've got some good news for you. I finally decided to finish my series and start making some money. That's right. Uh, I got all the way down to 70k, which is the lowest I've ever been since uh, basically starting this game. And in, uh, you know, just a matter of uh, minutes, I'd say like about 45 minutes, um, I basically just emptied out all my storage, not all of it, but you know, did a lot of digging, um, talked to some of my guild members, and uh, just, you know, asked a bunch of questions like, how are you guys making gold? What are you guys selling? And uh, again, I just cleaned out my inventory and I made, I went from 70,000 gold to about 190,000 gold within like 30 minutes. And I'm actually going to show you guys um, everything I sold, everything I'm currently selling, and, you know, just some tips and tricks along the way uh, right now since the March update. And you know, I've seen a couple other videos out there on making gold and it just it just makes me laugh so much because they're like, hey, this is how you make money, this is how you make gold, this is how I got rich, and they have like 4,000 gold. Well, not me, I'm gonna actually show you guys me, you know, making the money, the actual process of receiving the money so that you can see this stuff works. I've got proof, you know, I'm at almost 200,000 gold uh, just within like a day or two. So, yeah, let's get right to it. I'm going to show you guys everything. All right, so sit back, relax, and, uh, you know, if you like this kind of stuff, please like and subscribe and, you know, be looking out for more great content on making money. Let's go. All right, so first, I want to show you guys this. When I say cleaning out my storage, I mean I was cleaning out my storage. I finally took the time to organize everything. And uh, I was, you know, you know how you start collecting craft mods every now and then you'll like look at your storage and you're just like, wow, that's a lot of craft mods. Well, every so often I'll go through every single one and look at the prices. And it's been a long time since I've done that. And I've been sitting on these craft mods forever. You know, the craft mods that give you the attribute points like uh, constitution or int or whatever. Well, there's a few of them that give you tons of money and I had like hundreds of them and they're worth about 200 anywhere from 50 gold to 200 gold and uh, one of the guys from my company Sir, Ro Sir Roderick actually told me yeah start selling these I'm like those don't sell for anything he's like bullshit I went and checked the market iron guardsman insignias are like going for 200 with buy orders so I just I sold every single one and I literally went from 70k to 124 or whatever in the video right here within like 10 minutes just because I've been sitting on all these craft mods so guys check your craft mods um, iron guardsman insignias iron battle metals and linen arcane embroidery they're all selling right now on my server um, you know eventually they're probably gonna be cheap again so if you have them sell them don't sit on them you're never gonna use them all and I just had tons of them so that's number one now this next idea is, has never been popular I've always got a lot of crap for it but you know just try to remember you guys are watching this video because you want to make money not because you want to craft stuff and you know make best in slot gear to wear you're trying to get money you're trying to get gold so sell your cooldowns I'm not talking about, you know, typing in global selling cooldowns. I'm talking about sell your Phoenix Suite, sell your Asmodium. The only thing I wouldn't sell, and I'm going to show you why here in a minute, is the Rune Stone. I shouldn't have sold it, but I did, and I'm kicking myself in the ass. So hold on to your Rune Stone because it's going to make you a lot of money, and I'm going to show you that here in a minute. Now, these next couple things I'm selling, I mean, I wasn't even going to put it in the video, to be honest, because it's just like random stuff. But hey, it helped me get to, you know, my 190 where I'm at now, so I'll put it in there. And uh, I'm also going to keep, uh, I'm going to get back on and, and doing the uh, the journey to 500k. So I'm really going to hit it hard and try to get 500k. And I'm just going to show you guys everything I do along the way so you know, A, I'm not buying gold. I would never do that to risk my account anyway. But anyway, so uh, Star Metal ingots I'm selling, they're going really good. I'm just doing the buy orders. Um, don't forget about dyes. Dyes sell really well if you have a whole bunch of dyes. And I don't know if you guys remember the winter convergence thing, but I told you guys to buy a bunch of those patterns. Some of those are going for like two or 300 gold. So I'm really going through my, like I said, storage and really trying to, to get everything that's worth value. The food, the, um, the food that you can buy from the winter convergence thing. So just don't forget about that stuff. It, it sells and it's good money. So, you know, make use of it. 
Now, I know this is kind of random and another weird one, but I'm going to mention it anyway. Uh, a couple food items for you. Snail bait and sumptuous rabbit. I'll tell you what, pretty much everywhere I go now, I carry my, I make sure I always have my skinning trophies up and I always have my skinning set on me because every time I run by a rabbit, I put my skinning stuff on or I'm going to, I do it most of the time unless I'm in a hurry and I'll kill and skin those rabbits because one sumptuous rabbit is like 89 gold on my server. So that's definitely something you don't want to miss. And um, snail bait, snail bait's going for like a hundred gold on my server. So kind of crazy, kind of weird stuff, but definitely worth, you know, uh, keeping an eye out for it. And uh, don't ever pass up a rabbit without killing it and skinning it. Don't just don't do it. Now, this next one is fancy shells. This is another, um, you know, toss up. I personally would keep them, but you can sell them for anywhere from like 100 to 200 gold because everybody's doing arenas right now. And I'm about to show you guys why it is crazy. All right, now before I get into the last thing, the craziest thing that you can do to make money right now, I just wanna to touch on a couple of things that are super, super expensive right now that you can really make a lot of money on if you know any good spots. One of those is Orichalcum Ore. Now, I know you know that I know that you know that I know that you know that Orichalcum Ore is really expensive. Um, it's actually coming down, wow. But still, 289, that's that's still pretty damn expensive. So if you know a good spot, go farm some more calcum. I have no spots. I've tried everything. I've tried mines. I've tried everywhere. And this just, it's gone. So if you can find ore calcum, you know, pick it up in Tempest. Uh, you're going to make a little bit of cash on the side. But it's just not really, I guess, feasible. That's why I don't really want to talk about it too much. But these are... And you can do this. You're not going to be able to buy the materials, which is going to lead me to my next uh, thing that I want to talk about is uh, health pots and regen pots. Health pots and regen pots right now are crazy. Uh, health pots are infused health pots are 743 a piece and regen pots. I don't know why. Maybe somebody could tell me in the comments. Why are these so damn expensive? Are they really that good? I just I don't get it. But anyway, if you can make these and you have some spots to farm these, then do it. You're going to make a lot of money. And I don't see them being this expensive for very much longer. So my whole thing is capitalize while you can. Make that money while you can because these moments, these opportunities are not going to last forever. So right now, I'm out farming the stuff for this so I can make a bunch. I really am. I'm, I'm farming my ass off. And my 174,000 is going to go up to 500K here probably in a couple weeks, hopefully if everything works out right. Um, now, that brings me to my next thing. Um, so, you know, health pots, ore calcum, um, and also ore calcum, like arrows and stuff, that all ties into ore calcum, so never mind. Now, as far as th this stuff goes, I was looking on the marketplace to find, um, you know, see if I could just buy the materials to make this stuff, and you can't. In fact, it's the opposite. I came across a gem. And it's called Bull Rush Cob. It's going for $4.50 a piece. It is crazy. So I went farming the crap out of the Bull Rush. There's only one page and it is selling like crazy. I, I sold so much of this stuff. And I actually made in 20 minutes. In 20 minutes, I made, or sorry, I farmed. 607 bull rush where'd it go oh there it is i farm i just put this up like two minutes ago i farmed 607 them seven of them at 450 a piece that's like 2100 gold in 20 minutes if you multiply that by three to get an hour that's over 8,000 gold an hour so this stuff is selling like crazy why because it's used to make health pots so start searching, start looking for all these different materials. If you know where to get this stuff, and this is super easy, then jump on it. Go farm it right now. Start farming it, start selling it before this goes away. So Bullrush Cobb is like right outside of Everfall. It's always by the lakes and ponds and it's everywhere and you can farm it all day long. So, um, and this stuff is selling because people are buying and making those pots. People don't want to buy the pots they are too expensive so this stuff is going like crazy the mushrooms are going like crazy so any materials that you know where to farm a bunch of 
go farm them and go sell them. Bulrush cob is one of them, 450 a piece. I've never seen it that high and you could just farm that crap all day. Um, one other thing before I get to the final part of the video is fire moats and death moats. Fire moats right now are crazy expensive. They're going for like $2 or two gold a piece. That's almost two gold a piece. That's crazy. So you can, you guys all know where to farm those. I don't need to make a video on that. So, um, and, and also like death notes or <laughs> death moats. Death notes, a good show, by the way. No, what was it? Soul moats, maybe. Well, anyway, they're, they're at an all time high right now. These, these moats. So if you know where to farm moats, I know you guys do start farming them up and selling them. They're still selling, you know, people are buying them up. So you have a good chance to make some money there. So soul moats, um, reagents and stuff for making health pots. And, uh, you know, that's, that's it. All right. Finally, sorry. It took so long guys. The final, final way, the best way to make money right now is arenas. I'm sure you guys have already seen in global, if not, and you're just getting to the party late. Um, so you want to start making arena keys. So what me and my company did is you know i made five uh siren arena keys uh somebody else made five a couple guys had a couple you know just sitting around and we just spammed the arenas and i got two of the legendary 600 gear score guaranteed recipes or patterns now i haven't found any weapon ones yet just armor so far but the two that i did find one's going for 17k and one's going for 20k and we've probably knocked out like 13 or 14 of these arenas within, I don't know, maybe an hour. It really doesn't take long if you have a good group. And we have a great group of guys. Um, so, yeah, I would get on this right now, guys. That's why fancy shells are going up. You might see the other parts going up that are used for making the arena orbs. And, you know, the other thing is you don't have to have ore calcum chisels. It takes star metal chisels. They're super cheap. They're easy to get. And you can make five arena orbs per either per day or per week. I'm not sure, but you can do five of them. That's all I know. I should probably go back and double check that. But anyway, yeah, that's a great, great way to make money right now. Um, first time I ran an arena since the update and I got one. You know, and then like I, we did a bunch of more of them and then I got another one. So that's two. So that's like almost 40,000 gold, you know, within about an hour, hour and a half. So that's great money. That is great money. So that's it guys. Um, get as, get in as, a, in as many arenas as you can, because mark my words, um, the price is going to go way down. Just like the time of shards right now, you can make lots of money. So you need to be doing arenas right now i told my company let's run arenas all freaking day so everybody's making orbs and we're gonna make some money and i hope you guys get in on it too so if you have any questions about any of this stuff or if you have a, a tip for making some money hit me up let me know um you know and and if you give me an idea i'll take the credit for it no i'm just kidding <laughs> no but seriously if you guys know any way to make money you know let me know i'll definitely give you a shout out uh, you know, I, I like helping people and, uh, you know, it's great. Let's make money together. So anyway, if you have any questions, leave comments. If you enjoy this stuff, like, and subscribe. Other than that, you know what? Stay safe. Have a great day. And, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy.